What's up, YouTube? Thank you for watching the first part of Meet Me Downtown, my documentary on the historic downtown Brooklyn. In this part, I'll be showing you some more famous places downtown Brooklyn. But be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. There was one store that was downtown Brooklyn that played a major, major part to downtown Brooklyn. And I'm pretty sure if you don't know about it, your parents may know. And that place was the famous Beat Street Records. Beat Street Records is also a documentary on its own. Their first location was right here on Fulton and J Street. Back then, B Street was a heaven for DJs, back when vinyl and cassettes were popular. It was known for their large vinyl collection. I'm not sure when B Street opened up, but I know it closed its doors in October of 2006. I remember coming here to get blank cassettes to record Red Alert's show on KISS FM back when I was a kid. My aunt lived by downtown and was heavy into music. When we would come downtown, she would always come here to buy the latest record. As years passed, Beach Street moved to the old McCory's building. This location had a downstairs level. I was in my teens around this time. It's also where I first laid eyes on Tracy Green. Let me rewind just a bit. I would sometimes be downtown with friends and I was a big DJ Clue mixtape fan, and Beach Street sold his tapes. Me and my friends would be walking by, and they had a speaker outside that would be playing the latest mixtape. And I'd hear, Clue Minade, and I'd tell my friends, hey yo, hold up, I gotta run inside of here for a minute. And my friends knew nothing about DJ Clue. They'd say, why you going inside of there for? I'd go in and pay $10 for the latest Clue tape. And my friends would always say, you're dumb. Why'd you buy that tape for? But they had no idea who DJ Clue was. On every Clue tape, he'd shout out Tracy. And I'd be like, who is Tracy? I figured Tracy maybe was the guy that owned B Street. Until one day, I was in there again to buy DJ Clue's Platinum Plus. It had just came out. And while the girl was ringing me up, she says, Tracy. And this girl comes to the counter. And I said, you're Tracy? And she said, yes. I said, wow. I be hearing DJ Clue shout you out on his tapes. She said, yeah, that's my boy. He just left. I was in awe that Tracy was a girl. And after that, every time I'd come there, I'd see her. And from Clue saying her name so much, I looked at Tracy like a celebrity. Shout out to Tracy. I'm not sure where she is now or what she's doing, but I always thought that B Street had so much respect from Brooklyn that it could have been a big record label ran by Tracy. But lots of rappers came to B Street back when rappers would make appearances at local record stores to do meet and greets around album time. But I remember, during the last days of B Street, they closed the top level and everything was moved downstairs. Then it just got emptier and emptier with inventory. I think the internet killed Beat Street. Once Napster hit the internet, it killed music sales. Then vinyl had became CDs and people just wasn't walking in to buy music anymore when you could just sit at home and download it for free. The computer era was beginning. And in October 2006, the place we all loved finally left downtown Brooklyn. Shout out to Beach Street. Another famous business that was shopped in by many people downtown Brooklyn was the electronic store Nobody Beats The Wiz. Nobody Beats The Wiz was right next door to Beach Street. The Wiz was a well-known electronic store throughout New York City and the world. My family never shopped at The Wiz. 
their prices were really high in there. But as a teenager, I did buy a Walkman from this exact Nobody Beats the Wiz. Nobody Beats the Wiz has been here since the early 80s. But in the late 1990s, this Wiz, just like Beach Street, moved to this location where this Dr. J's is. But just like Beach Street, when it moved, they made it smaller. And it had a downstairs that sold CDs and DVDs. But due to the rise of the internet and online shopping, the Wiz downtown closed in or about 99 or 2000. I could be wrong. If you know, let me know. On part one, I spoke on the Lowe's movie theater that was downtown Brooklyn. But here at 249 Duffield Street, downtown Brooklyn, who remembers the Duffield movie theater? This legendary theater at 249 Duffield Street began business in 1913, playing silent films. In 1946, it got a makeover and a balcony was added. The Duffield held about 900 people with only one screen. But later on in 1984, the balcony was closed off and two more screens were added to the theater. Years later, in 1991 to be exact, the movie New Jack City premiered at the Duffield. And one night during a showing of the New Jack City movie, someone was shot and killed and the Duffield was shut down. The building was torn down and is now this Planet Fitness. If you got a story about the Duffield, drop a comment. Here's another classic store that was downtown Brooklyn. Let's take it back to McCory's. McCory's was known as the 5 and 10 store. This one that was downtown was around, I think, in the 1960s or the 70s. I'm not too sure if this McCory's was here in the early 80s. But McCory's was an older version of like a big family dollar. They sold stuff at a lesser price, but it's still the same building. If you look at the older picture, it looks like as if there was a staircase leading to the roof. In that area, you can see the spot where it was. It's still on the side of the building. Got a memory about McCory's? Drop a comment. One more famous location, downtown Brooklyn, is inside of this train station, Hoyt and Skimmerhorn. It was in this train station in November of 1986, Martin Scorsese filmed superstar Michael Jackson's video for the song Bad. The video was shot here on the first level and on an abandoned platform down on the platform level made Hoyton Skimmerhorn train station very famous downtown Brooklyn. Also, a scene from the movie Crocodile Dundee was shot here as well. And that is the end of Meet Me Downtown, the Downtown Brooklyn documentary. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video. And if you can, please donate to help me continue to bring y'all more interesting documentaries. And once again, Everyone stay safe. Thanks for watching.